TNT recently had the chance to visit the headquarters of Dark Horse Comics in Portland, Oregon to get a behind the scenes look at their new comic based on the upcoming TNT series, Falling Skies. Dark Horse has been creating groundbreaking comics for almost 25 years, and now they're working with TNT for the very first time. Head writer Paul Tobin talked to us about what it takes to capture the drama in every frame. Falling Skies establishes the world really shortly after the aliens have taken out a lot of the cities. I think it speaks to common themes. It's, it's the us against them, and it's the thrill of the unknown, because we really don't know why the aliens are invading. Mike Richardson, founder of Dark Horse Comics, filled us in on why they were the perfect fit for TNT and Falling Skies. Well, we look for great projects. You know, we have a long history of uh, doing film and television properties, uh, transforming them into comics and graphic novels. Senior editor Scott Alley talked to us about the challenge of plotting all the twists and turns of an alien invasion. I think that's what people like about Dark Horse Comics, is that we deal with very high concepts, but you're dealing really with the people and with their emotional stakes in it, rather than just whether the world's gonna end or not. And that's what you need in Falling Skies to make Falling Skies work. We've been working on this comic concurrent with the creation of the TV show. The 12 pages completely focused on Noah Wiley's character and his sons. Tom Mason, the main guy, he's a history professor, so he has this long scale outlook of how they can fight. And then there's Tom Mason's sons, Matt, Ben, and, and Hal, the oldest, who's really the guy I kind of get into the most because he's really reactive. He just wants to go kick some alien butt. Other people, like Ann Glass, who's a pediatrician, she's very into no matter what happens, let's retain our humanity. The Skitters are, are alien. They're multi-limbed and just strange as heck. And then they have mechs, which are giant robots, basically, the engines of destruction. I think in the best sci-fi writing, or the best writings of aliens, that it's not just the, the physical side of it, but it's these creatures have an entirely different desire, which then in turn makes it really exciting to write from the human standpoint, because there's just nothing there. There's no point when you can say, let's try to reason with these things, because there's no connection whatsoever. It takes almost as much time to get a comic done as it does to get a movie done. There's a cycle normally of around nine months. Artist Juan Ferreira works in Argentina, where he gave us a first-hand look at how his art will bring this battle of good versus evil to life. Now I'm going to show you my method of doing the comic. I begin on the pages, with a blank page, and I start to do the rough pencils. Then I start to do the inks. I use a brush, mostly, like, like this one. Juan changes his style drastically from book to book, which is really fun to see. I knew with Falling Skies it was absolutely essential that we make this feel like an urban setting. He approached it with this very detailed, lush inking style. There's a lot of texture, there's tons of background details going on. The level of work that Juan's putting into it brings that to life in as much detail as the TV show can, and so that's really fun in what he's doing. It's intriguing for the fans and sets up the series really well. It's what makes the comic, you know, an, an essential tie-in into the main heart of what the show is going to be. Now you've got the inside scoop on the Dark Horse comic based on Falling Skies.